Hello, it's me, Edith Ivy, back once again with another episode of the Not So Very Challenge. We are in Rose Gen, and just a quick recap on what our requirements are and where in the challenge we are. For Rose Gen, we need to have only one child, which we've done. We need to master the politician career and complete the serial romantic aspiration. We're going to hold on this. Um... In the politician career, I believe we're at level five. I can't check that while this dialogue window is up. And in the zero romantic aspiration, we have to have three gold dates. So we're probably going to go out with Gideon right now and have had at least eight boyfriends or girlfriends. So we will probably become significant others with Gideon at this date and we'll figure out why it doesn't work for us and break up with him. We'll leave someone at the altar. That interaction didn't pop up, but we divorced while still at the altar. So we did still leave our husband at the altar. It counts. And we will get married as an elder for the first time. Uh, semantics. Not great. I, the game did it. I didn't. I am not taking the L on this one. And last episode saw the birth of Yellow Generation, which I am so deeply happy about. Her traits will be clumsy, ambitious, and loner. She will have the aspiration nerd brain and the career astronaut. And her requirements for her generation are to master the rocket science and handiness skills to master the astronaut career and complete the nerd brain aspiration. She has to build a rocket ship and visit Sixum. She has to enter the secret lot in Oasis Springs, which will require that max handiness skill. And we kind of get out of this one because of circumstance. She'll never have any close friends or relationships other than one grandparent from generation one until the death of that grandparent. Both of those grandparents have passed and that is done. But we need three gold dates, so let's go out with this Gideon guy. I'm so happy I worked up the courage to ask. Let me know when, and we'll, you and I will go out. Oh, well, I'm glad we're not immediately on that date so we can feed ourselves. Oh, why is Dahlia sad? She's lonely. As soon as you're done cooking, let's cuddle that baby. We need to get a high chair. I'm gonna go over to his house and hang out. Mm, I can't right now. I've got too much going on. Real quick, we're gonna grab that high chair because as soon as she can sit up, we can have Dahlia try solid foods. Okay, little one, why don't you... Can you look at that? You can't look at that. Let's what that for a minute while your mom finishes eating and cleaning up her meal. And then we will have mom take care of you a little bit. You're starting to have to pee. Why don't you use your diaper so mom can change you and then mom can feed you? Marvelous. Change Dahlia's diaper. And then we're going to give her a bottle. It's nine o'clock at night. We don't really have time to do a date tonight anymore. But I think we have tomorrow off. No, we don't because our, our career just shuffled. Oh, we need to secure two votes. Free air tinkler. Good job, Dahlia. That takes some skill. Loves being held. It's gonna be a hard one. Why don't you... Why don't you do a tummy time? No, 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 no. Let's do a tummy time and put her to bed. <gasps> I forgot to put a crib in here. Alright, we have shuffled things. Meantime, do a tummy time with your daughter. And then you can put her to bed. We should invite Hunter over to meet his daughter and also ask him to be our boyfriend. I don't think we have to do these at the same time, but I think we can do this fairly rapid fire. Oh, I know you want to be held. Oh, and you're hungry. So got to make sure we feed her before we put her to bed. We will just... Cue that up. Yay! We've lifted our head! Congratulations! Cradle infant. I told you to feed her. 
see. Yep, yeah, perfect. And then we put Dahlia to sleep. Now that she's an infant, I think we're going to hire nannies. Because that will just make it easier to work on Dahlia's skills. I'd never seen the bubbles floating away during the burp animation before. That was actually pretty cute. I changed the color of her hair. It's still a blonde, but it doesn't look quite so much like a bad bleach job. And we can always adjust as she ages. We are awake and happy. Oh, we're a gassy baby. Oh no. Okay. Mom, you've got a full energy bar. Let's go pee. Then you can change the diaper before you take a bath. Oh, yep. She's taking care of that one. Why are you dazed? From starting to burn out. No, you, you're not allowed to burn out. We are going to have to make sure that we find something for you to do. We're going to go on a date after work tonight. That will help. Because we don't have time to burn out because you don't get promoted while you're burnt out. Do not have the time. How hungry is baby? Baby is pretty hungry, so we'll change the diaper. We're gonna give her a bottle. When we go to work today, we will hire a nanny instead of daycare so that we can work on Dahlia's skills. I wonder, we've gotten pretty far in this aspiration. I think we can probably afford free services. I'm gonna go to work. And how are your needs, little miss? That puts us in pretty good shape. So we'll have Mama put her down here. Take care of her own needs before she goes to work. Works in 30 minutes. Oh, we're gonna have to move fast. Wash your hands and grab some leftovers. And you little miss, why don't you look at toys? We just thought very firmly about a red triangle. Is that how you see your mother? She's really the only red thing in the room that you've been in. Oh, we unlocked Reach so we can play with our toys. What a clever baby we are. I'm gonna go to work. I can clean that up for you. Don't worry about it. We're gonna hire a nanny. Hey there, my name is Nanny Aoki. Nice to meet you. I am sensibly sufficient in every way. Smile it and me. The heck, lady? Got a full fridge full of food. You're supposed to be taking care of me. I am offend. Let's play with your toys and then let's see if we can get a bath from Amy. I wonder if it's Amy or Amy. I'm gonna go with Amy. Give me a bath. I want to play with bubbles. Come on, lady. This is not going as planned. I was trying to do something here. <gasps> we grabbed our toes. Uh, grab milestone unlocked. All right, are you gonna give me a bubble bath? No, I want a bubble bath. Give me a bubble bath. Yes, I have bent you to my will. Now mom has one less thing to do when she gets home. First bath and first bubble bath milestone. What are my options to have you do for me? Because I'm a little bit tired. I don't have a lot of options yet. I guess just <sighs> put me to bed, I suppose. <laughs> I don't have enough milestones unlocked to get you to do more. Ruby has been deftly navigating her way through the political beltway when an unexpected wrench is thrown into her plans. The governor's running mate has become entangled in a sordid affair and forced to drop off the ticket. In their stead, the governor has reached out and offered Ruby the position, reaffirming the belief that she's a rising star in the political scene. Is Ruby ready for a position that demands this level of public exposure? I think so.
Ruse decided to accept the offer to join the campaign. Attaching herself to a well-known candidate will do wonders for increasing the public's acceptance of herself as a viable political figure. Unfortunately, there's a catch. Ruby needs to make an appearance at the lieutenant governor's debate that's minutes away from starting. Hopefully, she has the political chops to represent herself well at a moment's notice. We have our new friend of our running mate. And we are home. You really, really need some fun. Why don't you play some chess? You're too tense to play chess, but you can browse the web and that works just as well. Why don't you take a bath? Oh no, our computer! Oh, just as well, I suppose. Oh, we are hungry! And we are grumpy! Okay, Mama, you can finish your bath in a little bit. Why don't you feed the baby? Poor little puddin'. I think we are gonna go out and do something tonight. We need to secure two votes, and we need to go on that date with Gideon. So I think we are going to get little Dahlia's needs up, leave her with a sitter, and go out and do. Go ahead and put her down there. We'll do a tummy time and then we're gonna go out. Let's do, let's play peekaboo and then do a tummy time. We apparently didn't like peekaboo. <gasps> but we can coo now. Are we doing tummy time? We are supposedly doing tummy time. I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor. I appreciate your kindness and friendship. I would love to accept a gift from you, but I'm in the middle of tummy time with my baby. I suppose we'll see if he's still there when we're done here. At least playing with the baby is fun. Roll over to back milestone unlocked! Right, why don't you play with your toys while Mama does grown-up stuff? You know, now I'm pretty much done with what I need to do. Can I hang out for a bit? Uh, actually no, I have a whole list of things I need to do tonight. Gave us a faux meat cube. Okay, let's send him home and go to the bathroom and finish our bath and then we'll go out. We are combo playful and sad. I'm sorry, sweetie. Your mom's needs are bad and we are and we haven't gotten her far enough in the challenge to really focus on you yet. And she doesn't have a spouse to help her. We could... Oh yeah, we have plenty for free services. And then... We can get a nanny for free. And a maid. <gasps> Toe and mouth milestone! Good job! I think that's the last milestone before sitting up. Where is Gideon? There we go. Let's ask Gideon on a date. Oh no! First blowout! Get diaper change from Ami. Let's keep it simple and go to the lounge in our own neighborhood. All right, we need to have a gold date, hopefully ending with Gideon as our first of six boyfriends and girlfriends. And I'm thinking, you know, Ruby came very close to having a marriage for political reasons. And then after she dissolved that, she immediately had great political success. So I think she's thinking, you know what? I almost made a bad decision because of expectations on me. And when I didn't do that, I got a huge bump forward in my career. I think she is going to play the field. I think she's going to have fun with romance for a while. I think she's just going to be super casual about romance for a while. A little blasé. And at the end of it all, she'll realize, you know what, I I have raised my kid at that point. She will have, I'm tired of having to go through all the work bit. And I think that's more why she'll get, why she'll get married than any other reason. Oh, we can ask Gideon to be our boyfriend. How easy. Oh, and this date is already gold. I 
imagine that this romance will be very short-lived because we know nothing about each other and kind of jumped into this. I'm curious because it seems to be the case with everybody. We actually have neutral compatibility with Gideon. How long is a date? Four hours? It's after midnight and this is a gold date. I think we're done here. I have a kid and a job. We'll have a brief blustery romance. In Ruby's life, this will be very spontaneous. But I think tomorrow when Gideon doesn't do anything for our birthday, I think that's why Ruby will break up with him. <laughs> the nanny is still here. Let's go to bed. Na did you do anything for this baby? Okay, she did change our diaper. You need to feed me, lady. Get fed by Ami. Lady, I told you to feed me. What are you yelling at my mom for? No, go to bed. You have hired a professional. Let her do her job. You, feed me. And now in the way of Sim Nannies, she will creepily stand over us all night while we sleep. We're definitely going to invite our brother over tomorrow for our birthday and have cake. We will use Gideon not being there as an excuse to break up with him. Oh, we are awake. Okay, Mom, use the bathroom and then make yourself a cake. After we repair the laptop, we are going to invite our brother over and have him come over. We'll make the cake. We will age Ruby up into an adult. Let's get her done. Is that Jasper going past the window I saw? A little creepy there, bro. You're a little creepy there. We do need to introduce him to the little one. This is his first time in our new place. And he's immediately getting at the tub? Jasper, what the- <gasps> Wait a second. Are you doing a mud bath? Okay, he's just doing a bath with soaks. Sims can do a mud bath in your tub and it breaks your tub and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Add birthday candle. Oh, well, first we have to center it better. We'll make a wish. Come on, Jasper. Celebrate your sister's birthday. <laughs> I feel like this has happened so very fast. I'm gonna have you wake up so that your mom can introduce you to Uncle Jasper. Why don't you smile at Jasper and coo at Jasper? Yeah. Oh, just putting this down. I think we may need a change. <laughs> you know, we'll practice sitting first. It's fine. Mom, change Dahlia's diaper. Poor little button. Poor Talia is just like, don't talk to me about it. Just do it. I need my diaper changed. Do you want another blowout? I know you weren't here for the last one, but oh boy, it was not fun from my end. Let me tell you. Quick needs check. All right, you do need to eat. So mama, stick a bottle in that mouth. Let's read a book to Dahlia. And what else can we do with our little one? Let's practice sitting some more. Or we can glitch a little bit. Nothing wrong with glitching a little bit. I wonder if we own any toddler books. Oh, Jasper is already heading out. Heard you and Gideon started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Yeah, but he's not here on my birthday. I mean, we literally had a date last night. There's no way he doesn't know it's my birthday. Can you believe this guy? Put her to bed because she is sleepy. Oh, 
Why don't you soothe to sleep? I was gonna try to secure Jasper's vote while you was here. Let's go secure some votes. There have to be Sims around here somewhere. Hey you, random lady on the street. Hold still a second. Let's do a polite introduction. Let's see if we can't secure those votes for our job. Okay. Let's see. Let's promote our policies and see how she feels about it. She seemed receptive. Let's talk about the cool temperature. Let's just get a little bit of a higher green bar. Make some small talk with our constituent. And then we'll secure the vote. I wish we could secure the cat's vote. Oh, what a pretty calico. Strong command of the issues. Jasper's calling to chat. Of course we're going to chat with our brother. <laughs> we literally just left. Oh, look at that pretty Siamese. That is a deeply pretty cat. And I liked that fluffy calico that was there a moment ago. I just like critters. Excellent. Be about your business. My good friend. Have you heard about my political policies? Oh no, he's uncomfortable. Oh, that's Julian Scott. Oh, we have bad compatibility. This could get interesting. We have bad compatibility and he doesn't feel very good. We will just say a polite farewell. I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else with the same haircut and similar skin tone. My apologies, sir. Who are you? Oh, we have a big friendship bar with you. Oh, it's Arthov! Hey, uh, let's promote our policies to him. Bar boy, me born. Uh -huh. Rosh. Uh, he seemed receptive, but now he's yelling at us. Let's secure the vote. He's mean? I didn't know he was mean. You never get to hang out with my kid. Excellent. That is our votes. We secured a teen's vote. That's how it be sometimes. I believe we have tomorrow off as well. Yes, we have the weekend off. So we'll give Gideon a whole day to wish his happy birthday. And if he doesn't, then tomorrow he's gone. And we can go get another boyfriend tomorrow. Oh, someone is calling us. Catalea Vida. What festival is it? I think we're gonna go. Alright. Dahlia has been sent to daycare, which is unfortunate. <gasps> it's the romance festival? Let's brighten her day. We do need to buy the festival t-shirt. Oh, it's our old landlord. Let's ask if single... One thing I really wish the Sims would do is add a mechanic for ethical polyamory. Because it is perfectly possible to have multiple boyfriends, girlfriends, and be completely on the up and up about it. You discuss it, you set your boundaries, you have those discussions and make sure that everyone is comfortable. Does not look like we have a possible for multiple at the same time. But let's get this romance bar pretty high so that she's kind of in the pocket for <laughs> after we break up with Gideon. Because he didn't do the thing that the game doesn't make him do. Let's buy a festival t-shirt. We're not going to wear the romance festival t-shirt though because it would look very silly with this skirt. <gasps> hey, it's Hunter! Who are you? Max Villarreal. <laughs> Let's apologize to him because he asked 
Irrational danger from being screamed at. Yeah, that's rational to me. Do we know everybody here? I think we do. Let's joke about getting together with Hunter. It's probably a bad idea, but... I feel like the more people we have as a future option... Hmm, he just blew a kiss at us and we didn't like it. Now he's embarrassed. Let's make a move. I think this is just the silliest thing. Compliment his appearance. He looks great. By the way, our child, also gorgeous. Who are you? Lance Robles. I think. Have we found a Robles we don't know? I'm going to introduce myself to this Lance person. Enchanting introduction. It's a romance festival. Let's get romantic. Hey! My mom used to be really good friend. Why are we afraid of the dark? Oh. Honestly, though, this will probably be relatively easy. Oh. Lance is not either unflirty or just not into ladies. Let's flirt with everyone at the romance festival, though. I think that sounds like fun. Okay, we already know you. Seriously? We'll ask if single. Oh. Lance doesn't like her. Ask about her woohoo interests. Apparently we have amazing compatibility, though. Let's mention the flirty festival vibe. Fortunately, this is a really easy fear to deal with, and we might be able to deal with that like later tonight. Oh, Gideon is here. He's mad. Hey, I'm flirting with people at a romance festival, and you completely ignored my birthday. I'm not interested in this relationship anymore. It was very arbitrary sounding and pre-planned on my part, but we have to do what we have to do in this challenge. Because seriously, you ignore my birthday, you don't come over for the cake, and now you're mad that everybody is flirting with everybody at a romance as well. Look at everyone is glowing pink. We're flirting. No, we cannot be non-committal until we complete our our challenge. Let's pour soccer tea together with Catalea. Then I'm gonna ask her to be my girlfriend. In front of all of these people I've just flirted with. Let's do an enchanting introduction. And where is Catalea? We are going to ask her to go out with us and be our girlfriend forevermore. Until next time. <laughs> that is so incredibly corny. And hunters followed us over. I can already first kiss this guy. Let's compliment outfit. Oh no, this is really awkward. Okay, we're going to say goodbye to Masato. And we're going to sit and chat here with Catalea. Oh. How much longer to the festival? 28 minutes? Oh good, he left. Ask to be girlfriend. And then we'll go on a date with her. <gasps> Gideon just walked past looking sad. Oh, we lost the lifestyle. That was a mistake. Alright, let's go home. We're gonna tear her run because it's dark outside. All right, and Dahlia has come back from daycare. We'll psych ourselves up in the mirror because I don't think without the ability to take a cold shower that there is a good way. Why did it dump our baby on the ground? How are you doing, little miss? Can... What's happening? What ability are you unlocking? What ability are you unlocking? We can roll over to our tummy!
if we can get you over to confident really quick okay why don't you pick up the baby why don't you practice sitting and then after you practice sitting we will give her a bottle we will put her to bed so we can go to bed Uh, the, t uh, the tea is going to go for another two hours. Let's, let's take a bath and eat some food and see if that gives the tea enough time to wear off. It just occurred to me that we broke up with Gideon in a fit of pique at the festival and then at the same festival... I think we'll go on a date with Catalea and then we'll ex and then we'll do our best to explain to her, hey, I'm so sorry, but I realize that you are my rebound and I don't want to do that to you. Our friendship means more to me than that. And that will be why we break up with Catalea. <laughs> and that will be two of our dates and four of our significant others. We could do that when we wake up. As much as I want to let her go to sleep because she's exhausted. I really want to get her past the flirty and if she goes to confident then we can just get rid of this fear of the dark yeah you just went to uncomfortable so go to sleep as much as I would have loved for her to be confident instead of uncomfortable tonight I'm not going to force her to pass out again because I want her to not be afraid of the dark anymore there will be plenty of time for that okay little nugget use your diaper and then we'll have Mama wake up and change your diaper. And we'll get Dahlia all situated. Ruby, how high is your handiness? Are you going to be able to convert the crib into a toddler bed? I don't know. I'm not sure what level handiness it takes, but four is kind of low. It just occurred to me that Hunter still has not met our child. So I think... After Catalea, we'll invite Hunter over to meet his daughter and ask him to be our boyfriend while that is happening. You know, we never really gave it a proper go. It was a college fling. Let's try being serious for a while. Oh, so cute. Then we will put you down, hire a nanny. And go on a date with Catalea. Where we will apologize for toying with her heart and break up with her. That ability, girlfriend. Oh no, she adores us. This is going to be devastating. I feel bad. And we're going to show her a good time because we feel bad. Oh, that is a seriously cute outfit. I need to remember that for Dahlia. Kiss her hands. Need to sit and talk with our date. Where is a good location so to do? Maybe not downstairs where people are dancing. Let's sit and chat here. We will go upstairs where we can have a little bit of time alone. All right, let's get flirty. Okay, we need to talk. Let's swap milestone stories. So we both have young children. We need to get flirty though. Mm, sweet talk. We offer a rose. Tease flirtatiously. I'm trying to get Ruby flirty. Compliment appearance. She does look excellent. And that is a gold date. So we're going to end the date here. And we're going to go, we're going to have a deep conversation. You know, hey, no, don't you dare leave. No, we're going to have a deep conversation and then we're going to break up. Because it isn't fair to you to be our rebound. And this is the closest the game will let me do to actually having this conversation. And then we're going to break up. I'm sorry this hurts you. Is 
there a way to apologize for hurting her? We'll beg forgiveness. So that is the closest we can get to being a decent human being about this. Okay, now it is just an unpleasant conversation. And we'll do a smooth apology. Because that was our intention for asking her out today. And that was really kind of shitty of us. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, deeply wounded and festering grudge. I feel bad. We'll use a squat toilet and then we'll go home. I actually saw someone who was from Southeast Asia do a little mini build video where she apparently where you use a squat toilet you have like I forget the terms but like a ladle situation so you rinse instead of wipe so to speak and I really think they should have something like that I mean they made the squatty potties they should have something like that in the options because we got like two or three different toilet paper rolls. I think I am going to call this episode here. We are hungry. Let's get some food. We made some really good progress for the challenge. We're doing good performance in the politician career where we are level five. In some ways college paid off. In some ways it really didn't. We have yellow generation. Oh, it looks... Who just unlocked the sit-up milestone. We are kicking butt on this aspiration. We need four significant others and one gold medal date. And we have our next significant other picked out. I am going to play a little bit further just because this is such an easy fear to clear. I am going to take care of that while off screen so we don't have to deal with it anymore. I 100% blame Hunter for screaming in our face at the festival for why we even have that fear. We'll start bright and early on Monday morning with a new day of work. Thank you so much for sh joining me for the Not So Berry Challenge. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much for watching and thank you for spending your time with me. If you've enjoyed this content, please leave a like, maybe comment, and if you really enjoyed it, maybe subscribe and hit that notification bell. I have been Edith Ivy, and I am so looking forward to seeing you next time.